week in the Lobos play at Marshall, another Conference USA match this Friday night? I, th I think the, the, the focus is as a 3-2 win, not a come from behind win, but uh, no, I was proud of the guys. I think you got to focus on the positives. Got ourselves in a bit of an unfortunate hole, which um, probably shouldn't have happened. And, and, you know, my focus needs to be on, on, on the great reaction. And, and I'm proud of the guys. I think uh, it, it, it's a game that we can use, you know, as a, um, a turning point, just in terms of our attitude and the fight we need to have, which up until this point, complacence a, fu a, a funny term. I, I don't think we've been complacent, but there just hasn't been an urgency. And, and it's, yeah, we got a confidence about us, which is a funny one. And, and you shouldn't be too confident after the last five games. You should be pretty hungry. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see where our reaction is. Training was very good today. Um, probably ratcheted up the intensity and the expectations a little bit. It's good to score some goals. You know, we're healthy. It's become more and more competitive. You know, trying to decide tomorrow who's, uh, who's traveling. It gets harder and harder, you know, now that everybody's back in the mix. So I, I like where we are. I'm excited for our game Friday. And we got to take it one at a time and uh, finish the regular season strong. Mike, you, you feel like uh, when you were talking about being complacent, you feel like the guys come out sometimes just the fire's not there until the game gets going? Or is that what you mean by like that? Or? Yeah. The, you know, to me, to have a great team, you have to have a core of leaders. And in that leadership group, they have to be very confident that they can perform their job and at the same time um, push other players and empower other players. And, and you know, often your, your greatest strength uh, as a member of a team is how many others you can make better. And, that, and that's not an easy task because you have to be very confident and experienced in, in, in your ability to do your own job. And that's kind of been our challenge throughout the season that uh, it's not just good enough to take care of your business. It's can you do that and make other people better and, and, and not let them uh, coast. And that's really, uh, I think, where we're at. And it's hard, you know, uh, up until last game, we've been playing one senior, a lot of mo minutes, Josh Dye. You know, he and both uh, Audrey and Mora Delgado started last game, our two seniors. But those are quiet guys. I mean, they're, uh, they're interesting cats, both of them, you know, engineers. They're both graduating this semester. Um, not that they've moved on, but, you know, the, the real world uh, is going to hit them in December in a couple months you know, with engineering degrees and they're going to be working. So, and that's just their personality. So that's our challenge, you know, and you keep saying challenge, but it is a challenge. How do we have that identity? How do we demand excellence out of each other and, and, and not be a team of equals? And, and, you know, I think you're starting to see that and, and guys are tasting it. They know that we got to be good down the stretch and our goal is to be in the NCAA tournament. That's our goal every year at a minimum. And uh, it's not going to be handed to us. We're not cruising at this point. We got to be good. Coach, you said you're in a hole, but you're playing with confidence, some losses, understanding the uh, breakdown and how they choose teams for the NCAA tournament. Can you and your Lobos get to where you want to go, and that is that tournament? Well, right now, I think we're 26 in the RPI. We're 7-3-2, and 26 in the RPI. Uh, the vast majority of teams in this country would love to be in our shoes. So that's, you know, to put it in perspective, you know, there's 205, I think, Division I men's soccer programs. And you're sitting at 26, so you're so you so you're doing pretty well, um, but you can't get you can't get you know past the next game, and that's really where our focus needs to be. And as a coach, you can't get caught up in you know all the scenarios. You you, you just control the things you have control over, and 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 I feel good going into this next game, and that's where my focus needs to be, and. Uh, it's all, it's all in our corner, you know? It's, we're, we're not uh, being, you know, it's not being dictated by our opponents, it's being dictated by us and we're very good. So we just gotta keep going one game at a time. You know, it's all cliches, but uh, I like where we are today. I like the, the, the response to the match 
and we got to keep scoring goals. Yeah. Is Marshall a more defensive kind of team? It's just a hard team to read. You know, they're 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 good at home. They're 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 real st tough at home, and and uh, it's a little bit different environment. It's a field turf field. You know, it's a long trip, so we need to be real disciplined in, in how we play. Um, a little more cautious, probably defensively, but. You know, UAB, that, that, that was their game plan. It was going to be stretched. They had some great offensive players. It was going to be a hard team to shut out. Not, you know, those were sloppy goals that we gave up. But, yeah, we got to tighten things up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for uh, to see what we're about over the course of the next four games. No question about it. And uh, a lot to look forward to. And, 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 you know, we do have high expectations. That's, that's what this program's uh, built on. That's why guys are here, and it's good to feel the pressure a little bit. That, that's, that's part of the deal. You started Adrian Moore, Delgado, dropped mm -hmm. Corey back a little bit, Simon was in there. Did you like what you saw from him? Yeah, you know, a lot of it's matchups. That was a game, uh, how they play, they kind of play with a box in the midfield. We played with two holding midfielders. I think that the, the challenge is if you play Adrian and Josh together, uh, you give up a little bit in terms of their ability to cover ground if, if, if uh, the game gets stretched. But, you know, those are things we're going to figure out and we're going to try to put the best possible lineup each game for the opponent. And, and, and that's the mentality our players have to have. Talk about uh, Francesco. And he, you know, he had a big game. You know, he just brings tons of energy. And, and he's a kid that's uh, been in a professional environment for a lot of years. And I think his reaction to the pressure, the pressure to play, uh, has been a great one. And it's been a great example for all our players. You know, he plays like his life depends on it every day. And, and uh, that's how all the guys got to be. You know, you got to be fighting for your spot. You got to be fighting for your team. And those are the things, you know, that we've talked about. And, and, and it's an interesting point with our program that we got a lot of these guys that have kind of had their foot in with these pro clubs, either in this country or around the world. And, and, and they got to be about Lobo soccer. They got to be about re representing the University of New Mexico. That's who they, that, that's their big time right now. It's not, uh, it's not a pathway to a professional career. That can't be your motivating uh, piece. And we talked about that. And um, I think there's, there's, uh, there's always been buy-in, but I think there's now even more of a recognition of, of uh, the responsibility of playing here and being good. Anything else? All right, thank you.